Blair Murdoch had a goal, to be the game show kingpin of Canada. After multiple long-running hits in the 80s, he ushered game shows into a new decade and uncharted waters, unintentionally making game show history. Welcome to the relationship game of the 90s. It's Love Handles. <laughs> Yeah, that was it. Uh, the premise of Love Handles was basically relationships, kind of Canada's version of the newlywed game. The newlywed game was people who had just recently been married and it sort of excluded everybody else. So we decided to do a show like that. How old will your partner say you will be when you retire? I'd say 75. What did you say, Gertie? I said 75. Hey! Hey! <laughs> the idea was to try and stir up some conflict between the couples, and, which makes for great television. And we're always hoping that, you know, that this is, oh, this is, this is gonna be the show where that happens. I think with every game show we did, there was something redeeming about it. Jackie knows where all the bodies are buried, let's say that, so. <laughs> She's been with me for 31 years, I think. We worked really well as a team because Blair was the rapatapa L.A. guy. Uh, he knew all the people. Really instrumental, I think, in a lot of my, my successes and probably in a lot of my scheming and, and dreaming. I was the more pragmatic, a sort of socially conscious person that wanted some depth into our game shows, which were kind of fluff. That was when I would do anything for 50 cents. I would I would do anything just to do voice on something. It Blair and, and Jackie gave me a shot to be a game show announcer. I jumped at the chance. Stu Jeffries, who was uh, worked at LG, the same radio station I worked at, and he was so much fun. We talked to Stu. Boom 97.3 Toronto, that is gonna wrap up the Stu Jeffries show for today. Thank you so much for being a part of this. You're not gonna believe this, but there is a camera crew here, and they wanna talk to me about love handles. The story tomorrow. It was almost like playtime in my life, and yet I've heard more about that game show than any other TV work that I've done. <laughs> it's like, I don't know whether to be happy or sad about that. We laughed a lot back behind the camera. I don't think I've laughed more uh, doing a television show than I did Love Handles. It was like flying in a military aircraft. There's no padding or anything. It's just the steam's coming out, and you can see it, you know, it was all bare bones, but it felt Hollywood. <laughs> I had done some work with Blair before on other game shows, uh, Acting Crazy, Wayne Cox was the host of that. When he asked me if I'd be interested in doing it, because it was Blair and I had worked with him before, I was all in just because he's so much fun to work with. He wanted everyone to have a good time. He's a jolly guy. My philosophy kind of is, if we're not having fun, we're not doing it right. I remember if you did something wrong, he says, that's all right, just do it again. Don't worry about it. Don't, you know, so there was no real pressure. Working with David Kay was... <laughs> Working with David Kay, Dave was just like Blair because you never knew what he was going to come up with. The fun part was he'd give me some sort of a nickname and then say Stu Jeffries. It seems to be the most quoted when everybody's talking about the show. <laughs> and now the thunder god of love, <laughs> Stu Jeffries. And now the star of Love Handles, it's the old love lizard himself, the love meister himself, Mr. Love Jangles, Stu Jeffries. Oh, thank you very much, David Kay. Welcome, everybody. I remember Stu Jeffries and I trying to keep it together because Blair... Murdoch would whisper yell. And everyone in the studio, including the contestants, could hear what he was saying. And I remember one, he said, no, don't give the prize to them. Don't, th no, don't give them a different question. And he was whispering, but everyone heard it. <laughs> in 1996, people in same-sex relationships were a rare sight on television. At this point, Ellen DeGeneres had not even come out on her TV show. It was the first time, I think, uh, on Canadian television history or game show history that, that there were same-sex couples on a show. I knew right away because of that that this was going to be different and it was going to be fun and somewhat, I want to say revolutionary, and when I think of Blair Murdoch and revolutionary, the two don't go hand in hand. And if he heard me say that, he'd be laughing that he did a revolutionary game show, but it was. It was Jackie Swanson's idea. I was pretty conservative. I told Blair that I thought it was time that we included gay couples. I said, well, it only makes sense to be inclusive of the Canada as it is today, and it's full of gay couples. He's really the only one I pitched it to. And uh, I mean, Blair has lots of gay friends and uh, has, has no problem with it. So he's like, sure, do it. I think they were very brave and they're accurate in putting that representation of the human experience. That's the real deal here. We're not hiding it. Who is the most likely to bring home stray animals, you or Dakota? Uh, definitely Dakota. Dakota, what'd you say? I said myself. Right for five so when Love Handles opened the door to gay and lesbian participants, the response was overwhelming. 
It was recorded in Vancouver, which is the perfect environment for that. And the people that auditioned for it, the list was so long. I know they turned away a lot of people and a lot of same-sex couples just because we had too many. We had a casting call for contestants and, and we'd select the couples that we thought were, were good on television and would be fun to have on the show. This one night, the group came in. There were a couple of gay couples, uh, some female and male. This man and woman couple, they were going to sit down. And he didn't want to sit beside the gay couple. He sort of motioned for his wife to sit down, separating him from the, the two gay guys. And then during the break, everybody was mixing and mingling. And I guess these, these guys were all from the same business. And by the end of the hour, they were just such great friends. And even on the set, I could see that even in that casting call, we had broken a barrier, at least for one couple. So I knew we were right on bringing this to Canada. Love Handle's TV milestone was not received positively by all. There are a number of angry callers. I think that if Twitter had been alive and well then, we'd have been ripped to shreds. People phoning a, a TV network to say, I find that offensive, I'm like, I, you know, what do you do? Uh, what can you say? You, it's okay, but you know, we're doing it. Small groups have, have very loud voices. Uh, you have to uh, believe in what you're doing and just, uh, you know, go forward. Not all broadcasters agreed at that time. So it was pulled off the air in some communities across Canada. Either you're gonna like it or not gonna like it. You know, you can change the channel. I think I remember hearing Blair say that. They could change the channel. I took some offense to that, not particularly because I was an advocate for the gay community, I wasn't. But I was a little bothered that it bothered people as much as apparently it did. And I started to appreciate Jackie's point of view. I became much more understanding, I suppose, let's say. And, and so I tended to take up that fight a bit for them. So and I think. Jackie, and I suppose I thank the people who phoned into the station, because it did change me a little bit. Let people know that, oh, they're just like any other couple in relationship. They broke ground, a groundbreaking show. And we never thought we were doing anything like extraordinary at all. We were just having fun and doing a show. Hearing that maybe possible friendships where friendships could not have happened, happened because of that show, or even just a, an understanding that Everybody's here, we're all on the same planet. My heart uh, swells. If I'm not doing the right thing, then it's not worth doing. I think of the 65 episodes we did, I think 12 of them had same-sex couples on them. So I pulled those out, and it was a little subset of the series, and licensed that to Pride TV. I made some more money, which is why I was in the business. <laughs> well, that's our Blair. Love Handles left the airways in 1998. But for its featured talent, it was just the beginning of their success story. Completing Love Handles and just doing various odd TV projects, mostly local, there was nowhere near the fun that I had there. That bar was really high. My goals had always been, I wanted to end up in Toronto doing radio, and that's what I started doing, and that's what I loved the most. I remember going in to NBC when Jay Leno was doing The Tonight Show. Was, I was hired as a backup. Well, they brought me in one day, and I was doing the booth announce for The Tonight Show. And I remember sitting in the studio thinking, now this is like Love Handles times a million. Since Love Handles back in 96, it's interesting, the journey, that precipitated this move here to Los Angeles. Some of the Transformer stuff with this Megatron. And now, Megatron says things. Yes, excellent, terrorize. Ratchet, we must find Captain Core quickly. Oh dear. <laughs> Sir, incoming, sir. Transformers keeps going, Avengers, and uh, I got to work with Stan Lee and Mark Hamill in the same room. Stuff like that is, is mind-blowing to me, and it's all because of all the stuff I did in Vancouver to prepare myself. Thank you, Blair. Thank you, Jackie. So now here I am, and I'm working at a 70s, 80s, 90s radio station, so the stuff I grew up with, I'm playing. The people who grew up with me on TV, both in Good Rockin' and Love Handles, are calling all the time. I remember the first time I went on the air here, somebody phoned and said, were you the host of Love Handles? Is that the same guy? And I'm like, yeah, that's the... And funny how, you know, you can do 10 years of one show and you can do one month recording a ton of shows and people will remember you for that. But I couldn't be prouder. <laughs>